attention? Safe? Huh? Hello, San Marcos. This is the weekly Lady Bug Out Report, San Marcos News Live, where we will discuss ways that you can prepare you and yourself and your family for urban and natural disasters. Lock it in live, San Marcos. San Marcos' own weekly news report, Lady Bug Out Series. Lock it in live, San Marcos. Sister Survival Disaster Preparation, Lady Bug Out. <laughs> We're here with Stephen Schethal today, who's a local expert on disaster preparation. <laughs> well, Experts in, stretch. <laughs> in my book, stretch. you are an expert. Um, we're here because he's going to school us on a very important issue, and that is water purification. What can you do for your family if you're caught in an urban situation or out in nature to ensure that you've got not only enough water, but clean water to cook and drink with? And so with that, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to Mr. Schethal. All right. I guess uh, some of the gear I'm going to be showing you all today is really simple gear you can get online. Most of it's for outdoors events. You know, I live in a town that's very, I mean, we're right on a river, so it's really handy for that. However, it would work just fine for in your house or your apartment or whatever, too. It's all, it's all going to be the same gear. It's all doing the same thing. Now, some of the stuff I've got today, I've got an empty, just stainless steel water bottle. And we're going to be using first some water purification tablets to make potable water with this. I've also got... Let's see, I'll show you the tablets we're going to use. This brand in particular is called uh, Aquamira, I think. Yeah, or actually, no, it's just the generic stuff, but Aquamira is another brand. However, uh, one of these, this is the purification one, and this one takes away the chemical taste. So this one's not necessary, but from what I remember in Boy Scouts using these, you really want to have the neutralizers. And uh, secondarily, it's a pretty nice product called the Bricky Sport. And it's one of the simplest water filters out there, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a little bit. But the filter's right there, and this is your reservoir tank of your dirty water. So I'll show you where the clean water comes from next. And finally, this is uh, probably one of the better systems, and it's going to be one of the most durable, longest lasting. It's a Katie Den Pocket. And uh, they advertise that it'll handle 13,000 gallons of water, and of course, they're probably talking about nice, clean water, not, you know dirty murky mosquito malaria water and uh, how that works is it uses a silver impregnated ceramic filter to move your dirty water through there through pumping action and you'll get it expelling through this top layer as clean potable drinking and quite tasting quite delicious tasting water That's what uh, I've gotten out of it so far but first because uh, it's going to take long it's going to take 30 minutes make potable water with the tablets. So even though these are the smallest and easy to carry in a gear uh, or an equipment arsenal, uh, it takes forever. So you know, having alternative plans is always a good idea. Let's see uh, if we can use these guys here. And it says that you're going to want to use two tablets for every one quart or one liter of water. And it just so happens that we have a one liter stainless steel container. So we'll go ahead and use two as recommended. I can get them out here. It has some cotton wadding in there to kind of preserve it. Since I'll plan on using these in the near future, I'm just going to go ahead and shove it back in there. And uh, save them for another day when I really need them. That's a good idea putting a piece of cotton in there so they don't rattle around and break, I guess, in your pack. Well, if nothing else, it's noise reduction. Like, uh, I mean, there's lots of stuff that rattles, but I add to it. And so we'll put the neutralizing tablets aside because we're not going to need them yet. And see if it's already leaving like chemical colors in my hand, so. I those of you into the whole organic thing, take note, you know, there's better ways of doing it. <laughs> and so we'll just get ourselves a sample of some water we want to purify. And go ahead and just add our tablets. And as per directions, you leave the cap unscrewed a little bit, so I'm only giving it like two turns there. Why is that, I wonder? Well, they want you to get the threading wet, they say, to let it soak out a little like that. Oh. I don't know why, but uh, hence the reason I'm not an expert. You know, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but I just think it's a good idea to follow their directions on that. Huh. And so we wait half an hour on that one. Uh, we can go ahead and demonstrate and talk about the virtues of another device. 
Uh, this is the Berkey Sport. This is probably my favorite method of water filtration. It's the most portable. Um, with what I use on a daily basis, it's it's really good. Uh, this particular filter, it's not a 13 thousand gallon killer filter. This thing will make it 640 times just filtering tap water, municipal tap water. But if you're into backpacking, hiking, whatnot, you go and you fill it from some really stagnant, horrible sources, which I've done quite a few times, uh, you're looking at about 180 refills, which is still pretty good considering the filter's 15 bucks. That's, you know, pennies 